it, it feels like clandestine as, um, policing. Uh, in my view, the whole purpose of these signs is to warn motorists and, and to get motorists to slow down. And I think if you remove signs, um, what will happen is motorists will actually speed up. And yes, there will be more prosecutions, there will be more people speeding. Because the signage is a sort of form of education. It's a warning, but it's a form of education. And that, that's obviously what motorists need. And no system's perfect. But I think the whole idea of, well, let, let's just remove the signs, it, it, it smacks, doesn't it, of let's fill the coffers. Uh, it's what I call sloppy and lazy policing. And, you know, what I would like to see is police on the, on the roads, in police cars, whether they be marked or unmarked, ideally both, to deal with bad driving. Because really, speeding is only a very small aspect of, of, of bad driving. And what we need is a police presence um, rather than a reliance on what, what's now going to become a, a secretive way of testing your speed. Mm. Um, so I don't think it's going to re reduce road safety. I think actually it's going to exacerbate it and, and cause problems. So the wording around um, the announcement as well was very kind of, um, it was very sinister. It said drivers must expect the unexpected. When did it change that motorists have such a, a dysfunctional relationship to those who are enforcing the rules of the road. It feels very much like us against them. It, it does feel like that, doesn't it? Most motorists are responsible, working people, going about their lives, not doing any harm to anyone, compared with people who commit burglaries, thefts, assaults. And uh, what happens when you do those, when you commit those offences, you get a crime reference number and, and often precious little else. The motorist, of course, tends to be someone, if they get done, they, get, they, they pay the fine, they accept their culpability or they decide to fight it. They deal with it responsibly. Um, and the police, they, they, you know, it wasn't that long ago that the police used to stop you for speeding and that, that would have a, a, a salutary effect on the way you drove. Just seeing a police car would, drive, would slow you down. And, you know, when we have these signs that exist at the moment, they do slow you down, even if there isn't a police camera there a speed camera there. Yeah. And the, re the removal of signs will, will just cause the opposite effect. And I don't understand how this is going to improve road safety because that's what we should all be aiming for. Um, not just let, let's grab the motorist because it's an easy prey. They're going to pay up. Um, and and th this is ideal for a time when everyone's struggling financially, including, of course, the motorists. So I think it's a foolhardy idea. I think they need to go back to the drawing board and they definitely need to have police on the roads so that they deal with other aspects of bad driving rather than just this myopic approach to speeding. I mean, I want to be really clear here. I don't want it to sound like I'm sitting here saying everyone should be allowed to drive whatever speed they like at, at day and night. You know, I, no. I, I'm a very, very careful driver. I've only done two speed awareness courses. Um, but I think, but what I found when I got my speeding tickets was that I'd gone in one of those country roads. It's very common. You go from the 20 miles or the 40, 50 mile an hour zone as it was, and you go straight into a 20, 30 without, without clear signage. And it feels like this yeah. gotcha, like we've gotcha. There was no cars there. There's no, there's no school. There's nobody around. There's nobody pulling out. There's no, no, no hazards that might be there, but we've got you. It's very profitable yeah. though, isn't it? This handing out these sorts of tickets. Well, I think from the motorist perspective, it, it doesn't really make sense. You know, it's one way traffic that it's always reduced the speed rather than increase it. So you can be sitting on a motorway at 70 mile an hour and it's empty. It could be the early hours of the morning. There's nothing about and 70 miles an hour is just too slow. So I, I think the government need to completely rethink their approach to speeding because it's in a mess. I, I think on recent surveys, you know, over 50% of motorists admit speeding every time they get into a car. Um, so the system isn't working, and I'm not in any way advocating that you should speed, but I am advocating a sensible approach where people, where, where speeding makes sense to everyone. It's there for a sensible reason, as opposed to just let, let's grab some, some cash from the motorists because they'll pay up their easy prey. And that, that's what appears to be happening more and more. We seem to be vilifying the motorists rather than supporting them. And try, our roads are becoming safer and safer all the time. So these, this announcement by West Yorkshire please, makes no sense at all.